Hey, what's up Linear users, I'm Jonathan and for today's video I wanted to explore the idea if you can use a 360 degree camera to easily create photogrammetry models of hallways and more. To test if this would be a usable method I went ahead and recorded this video in a forest. So let's reconstruct some geometry and textures. Before we start with the video I wanted to show you the final model. You can see that the result looks rather abstract, but it might work better in your case, especially if you do not try to photoscan nature. And with that said, let's get started. Because Reality Capture doesn't support 360 degree images, we have to use some workarounds to feed these images into Reality Capture. For this, we want to split up every single image into multiple smaller images, which then aren't distorted anymore. For this method, we need an image sequence of 360 degree images. I used the same method to get here as I did in this video. You can see that I'm only using 12 images. This will be enough for this tutorial, but of course you might want to use more images to cover a larger area. So let's start by splitting up our 360 degree images into multiple smaller ones. We'll do this using a mushroom utility. The only reason why I'm not using Meshroom to actually create the final photo scan is because Reality Capture is just that much faster. So let's download Meshroom and for this we just want to go to Meshroom up here and click on download. And once downloaded and unzipped, go to Alice Vision, bin and locate the Alice Vision Utils split 360 degree images exe file. But we cannot run this file just by double clicking it. We actually need to click into the address bar and type in cmd. And now just type in Alice Vision underscore utils underscore split and then hit tab and it will autocomplete to the whole file name. Now we can just hit enter and you can now see that we need to provide input and output parameters. So with arrow up select the latest command and then type in I and in quotation marks the folder path where you have saved your image sequence, just like this. And then type in dash O. And again in quotation marks the folder path where you want to save the split images. Great. Now I also want to control the number of splits. And for this we need to copy and paste this argument right after your output path. And I'll set it to 32. This will give Reality Capture enough overlap between images. And with that done, let's just hit enter. And you can see the utility found 12 file paths and it'll now start splitting the found images. Once that done, you can close your command prompt and have a look in your output folder and you'll see many smaller images, which we can now drag and drop into Reality Capture. So with Reality Capture open, let's drag and drop our image sequence into this panel. And now we can just click on Align Images. Because we split every image up into 32 images, this might take a while, so just be aware of that. So you can see that it now has aligned all of the images and a power cloud has been generated. But you can also see that it had some issues with lots of cameras, which are now up here. But this doesn't seem to throw off the solver that much, because the model has still been generated almost correctly. But of course, sometimes in the process I also did not get lucky and it would just not work with this method. So now with all of these images aligned, you can go through the typical process of creating a model. So just click on normal detail, then colorize and texturize it. And once paid for your input, you can go to model and export your OBJ model. When imported in Blender, you would of course need to clean up everything because there's just a lot of junk that is left on the sides right here. And that's basically it. This is how we can create a photogrammetry model from 360 degree images. But of course, in the end, this method is only usable to a certain extent. I would suggest you try this on your own scenes and maybe it'll work much better for you. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing and we'll see each other in the next video next Saturday.